Hey everybody, it's Jenny from Norman S. Wright and NSW PEP. In the last video, we talked about the different types of liquid cooling. So this time I wanna start going through those different types, starting with rear door heat exchangers. So let's get started. In the last video, I said that rear door heat exchangers are not technically true liquid cooling, but they're often used with high density cooling systems, so they're generally thrown into the liquid cooling category. Rear door heat exchangers are attached to the back of server racks and use chilled water to capture heat as it exits the racks. These systems can be used in conjunction with air cooling systems. So let's slide this over and draw this. So this is a server rack. And on the back, you'll have your rear door heat exchanger. Somewhere on site, you'll have a chilled water system that sends water to a coolant distribution unit, a CDU. This uses liquid to liquid heat transfer to cool the liquid loop going to the rear door heat exchanger. So you have a chilled water loop going from your chilled water system to your CDU and then a chilled water loop going from your CDU to your rear door heat exchanger. Fans move air from the front of the server rack towards the back where the air picks up the heat from the server and moves through the heat exchanger, transferring heat to the water in the rear door heat exchanger. This warms the water, which then flows out of the rear door heat exchanger and back to the CDU. Air is then exhausted out of the back of the rear door heat exchanger. You want to minimize leakage in your rack so that all the air goes through the rear door heat exchanger to maximize your cooling. Let's slide this up a little bit. There are active and passive rear door heat exchangers. Passive rear door heat exchangers have no moving parts, so you just have the heat exchanger with water passing through it mounted to the server rack. Active rear door heat exchangers have a fan module that mounts to the passive rear door heat exchanger that helps the server fans removing the heat load from the racks. So if we go back up here in our drawing, and now let's take these arrows out and let's add a fan module to the back of it. And then the air would exhaust out after the fans. So let's slide this over and look at some benefits of rear door heat exchangers. They perform well at warmer chilled water set points. So they're typically more energy efficient than crack units. They don't require much space in the data center and they're less complicated than a crack unit, so they're fairly low maintenance. They can also be installed in existing and new data centers, so they're pretty flexible as well. So let's bring all of this back on screen. So that's the basics of how rear door heat exchangers work. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.